sweep to Charlie Jones. He turns the corner. Charlie Jones down the sideline, stays in bounds. That is finally brought down by Michael Dowell. He'll give it to Goodson. And he will roll his way to the end zone for an opening drive Iowa touchdown. The left side, all those reach blocks. Great job by Eins of getting up into that linebacker. That's your update, 7 nothing Longhorns. Jet sweep, and it is red beautifully by Zach Van Valkenburg. He was waiting to make a tackle for loss. You can put your abacus away now. Third down and six, Lombardi. Shirts off, a sack. The rush coming from the backside. He's still able to launch one down the sideline and throws an interception to Jack Kerner. Third down and seven here. Petrus finds a crosser. That's an easy pickup to Nico Wigani for a first down and more. He's all the way down inside the 40-yard line. This time, Michigan State's defensive front rallies to the ball. What a great adjustment by Smith. You see the leap right there. The catch and then kind of turning that body. And they won their last three games at the end of last season. This season, only three second half points and route to two losses. They need to sustain what is happening. It's an incredible, incredible experience to witness this in Iowa. Nice Barringer. Sends it to Charlie Jones. The first man missed. To the sideline. Jones weaves his way to midfield and he's in plus territory before he's finally brought down. And that's right where they go. Up the middle into the end zone. Tyler Goodson for the touchdown. Watch Potabom, the fullback, and then check out the left tackle, Larry Jackson. That is a pancake block. Take completions and struggling Michigan State offense isn't doing it right now. Lombardi flips one in the floor and it's intercepted. Picked off by Barrington Wade. And he bulldozes his way down close to the red zone. And the long field out in front of Rocky Lombardi now, starting at the eight yard line. And throwing from the end zone. Here's the first shot down field, man to man coverage. And that's what they've been looking for. Jalen Naylor gets it all the way down inside the 40 yard line of Iowa made it into the <laughs> halftime rundown. It's a, it's a one call by Fumble Harry. snap by Lombardi. Bobbles the pistol snap and has to go down at the five-yard line and eat a five-yard loss. This shows a lack of comfort right now with Lock Rocky Lombardi. That lack of comfort shows up when that ball looks like that going to the receivers. Erringer with a line drive. Jones has been a weapon changing field position so far for Iowa. And he has a head of steam here. Inside the 10-yard line of the for the touchdown. But the punt from the own end zone, the line drive punt. And now freeze it. Listen, this is why line drive punts don't work well. One, two, three, four, five, six guys on Michigan State are 45 yards from Jones. That line drive punt, he makes one guy miss. Look, no one is even remotely close to where he is. He gets 40 yards in the return without ever getting touched because that punt was such a line drive. Look at one guy misses. And look at all the space he has. Everyone's left. Back where that punt was kicked. Terrible lane distribution. Marty avoids a sack. Pulls one into coverage. And it's another interception. Riley Moss. It was thrown right to him. And it is a pass. Good job by Rocky Lombardi. No one's open, okay? I gotta leave the pocket, and this is the moment. Panic. What do I do with the football? Moss just hanging out in his zone, and then the ability to not only get the turnover, but turn it into six for this football team. Spent zero time with the trainers these last few drives. Pocket collapses, and he goes down again. Zach Van Valkenburg all over the quarterback once again. And that Iowa pass rush 
gets home. Our no huddle offense in game to get him a great feel for it. Petrus brought down. That time the pass rush got there. Michael Fletcher. At some point, you're going to have to generate three plays in this second half of over 30 or 40 yards to get back into this game. Four man rush. And throwing it to nowhere is Lombardi. Are they going to say that's a loose ball? He threw it forward. Fabian Nixon takes it into the end zone. Will want to trigger and get themselves an interception. So that was something I learned during my time in the NFL with Garrett Kubia. Lombardi well protected here. And here's a bomb down the sideline on third and long. Drops it into Jalen Naylor. Third down and goal. It's a handoff to the tight end. Hunt. He tries to turn the corner. And does. Touchdown. Michigan State. For by Hunt. Watch him come on this jet sweep handoff. And the defense for Iowa's there. Golston's there. Stiff arm and then go find the pylon. Great effort by Hunt. This Iowa football team today. Right up the gut. He's inside the 30, still on his feet inside the 20, all the way down inside the five-yard line before Kalen Gervin saves a touchdown and brings down Tyler Goodson. I think of following that fullback, this is what Iowa does offensively. I'll hand this one to Sargent, and he's in for the touchdown. Potterbaum, that left side of that offensive line worked together, a great job by the fullback and then Sargent. Finding that little crease for that touchdown. A Pioli couple championship games. Eric Mangini as a coach. That's a nice move by Tyrone Tracy. And a little delay on the punt by Tory Taylor. And he finds the corner. Perfect job done. So the Hawkeyes scoring their first offensive touchdown in the second half. In their last six Big Ten games, they had another. As Makai Sargent sneaks it inside the pylon. Gain the edge. Watch Alaric Jackson gain the edge, then turn back. Brandon Smith get in the blocks. Goodson doesn't even have anyone to really block as Sargent finds the front pylon. Working hard, playing the right way, passion, execution. They're going to be watching this tape with a keen eye. Long throw by Lombardi, a sliding catch made by Ricky White. Well, speaking of which, that was a statement today by Iowa that they may have gotten off to a mistake-filled 0-2 start, but they are not to be taken lightly as they beat Michigan State the week after the Spartans beat Michigan 49-7.